Today many markets are moving towards web-driven commerce. With this motion we lose the personal part of trading and thus trust. Increasingly so we have to trust that an online reseller does whatever we expect them to do with our money, given some legal bindings. When we talk about blockchain, we talk about transactions. If a person needs to transfer money, he will do this by making a transaction. A transaction is represented online as a block. When a block is made, it will be broadcasted to every party in the network. Some people, called miners, in the network will evaluate and approve or reject the transaction. When it is indeed valid, the block will be added to the chain, which provides an indelible and transparent record of transaction. At this point in time, the transaction is confirmed and the receiving party will obtain the funds. Blockchain links all these events in a public manner which means everyone can see them. By linking these blocks in a certain fashion it is impossible to make changes to previous blocks without the consent of the entire network. Having all the transactions publicly available and unchangeable doesn't assure a fair trading system. For this we use smart contracts, to provide a small piece of logic that can contain an agreement. Like the blockchain this contract is made public, but the participants remain anonymous. A triggering event is embedded in the contract, which triggers the transaction. Regulators can use the blockchain to understand the activity in the market while maintaining the privacy of individual actors' positions. We would like to show you that there does not need to be a third party that controls transactions and that there are better, more secure ways of doing online transactions. These ways use distributed trust which works with the blockchain technology. We will present this technology to you by buying something on our second-hand website.